Hello everyone, it's Nady and welcome back to Fake Ass, the series where I review the fake up to the makeup that you love. And today we'll be testing out this Fake Ass Too Faced Natural Love Palette. As you marvelous people know, this is about the product, not the people behind it. Any tiff you may have with them, please cast it away because this is a channel of positive energy, okay? Thank you. I got this from DHgate for about $12 and it took around a month and a half to get to me. The real palette does have pretty good reviews. The only downside is that a lot of the shadows in this palette are repeats. And then if you already have those palettes that have the original shades in them, but you want the new colors, you have to pay $60 just to get the new ones. Other than that, I have noticed that some of the shadows are kind of inconsistent, like some of them will be pigmented, others won't be. So I'm very curious to see how this fake will hold up. This packaging is so good. Not just good, like so fucking good. Like Whitney Houston, Celine Dion, high note good like this is breathtaking. The main box is stunning. Like all the little flowers and leaves are etched in gold and the natural love is raised and does have the barcode and all the distribution information on it. And the colors on the back look divine. Like nothing is blurry, nothing is misspelled. This is killer. The palette itself literally has my titties tingling. Like this is velvet on here. It feels like a little fucking bunny. Like what the hell? The back is the exact same information as the real one does. It has the little spiel about the palette. It has it in French. It has the distribution info on it. Absolutely. Absolutely everything. It looks marvelous. Opening this little hoe up, it does have a magnetic closure and a nice big mirror on it, but the shades themselves is where I can definitely tell this is a fake. They're just not as vibrant, and some of them are just off completely. Still gorgeous colors, like we can definitely work with this, but just not quite right. I am so freaking excited to swatch and do a look with this. You guys know the song. Are you ready? It's what's inside. And here we have the first row, and no, I'm not joking. These are legit, the swatches. These suck ass. Like, holy shit, there is no pigment whatsoever. Even on the shimmers, like, this is a whole bunch of bull fuckery. And pretty much the exact same thing for the next row. Like, no pigment whatsoever. I'm really kind of confused because this looked so good in the pans, but, like, swatch, they're just shit. So I'm just gonna skip the other rows, and I picked up what I thought might have some pigmentation to it, and that was Stiletto, Makeup and Chill, Cutie Pie, Spoiled, and Night Fever and these were terrible. Like, they kind of had pigment to them, but I had to go over this several times after swiping in the pan just to get anything to show up. Like, this is not looking promising. But I do still want to try to create a look with this, so I've gone and primed my eyes and set translucent powder under them to catch any fallout, and to set that primer, I'm just going to take a little bit of Lace Teddy and sweep it all over the eye. Then on the same brush, I'm going to take Honey Butter and go right in the crease, see if this does any fucking thing at all. Um... I really can't tell. Huh, okay, so I'm gonna take some Makeup and Chill and start on the outer corner and then bring it right up the crease to really make my eyes bigger. And Makeup and Chill actually did have really good pigmentation to it, like I only dipped my brush in very, very lightly and I was able to get all this with it. So in this palette, Undercover was a shimmer, but then when I rubbed it with my finger, it kind of turned it into a matte, so I'm gonna take a little bit of that on the outer corner as well. And then with whatever's left on the brush, I'm just gonna bring that down into the lower eye. And then with a little bit of Stiletto on a pencil brush. I'm just going to start right here on the top lid and kind of bring these two together in a C motion. With that same brush, I'm going to take a little bit of kittens and smoke that out right along the whole entire lash line. On a wet flat brush, I'm going to take a mixture of pink cheeks and a bunny nose and we're going to place that right on the lid. Ugh. Ugh. Shit. Oh, fuck. Oh my god, this palette sucks. Okay, I really want a shimmer right there, so I'm just taking this random ass kind of rosy shimmer that I have, and I'm just gonna place that on my eye instead. Oh, there we go. So much fucking better. Yes. And I'm gonna place a little bit here on the tear duct and bring it down on the lower lid about halfway in. And here we are with the final look, and my eyes will not stop watering and burning and itching. I'm not in love with this palette, but I can't call bullshit on it because I was able to get a look out of it. Is it something I could have easily done really cheaply with real makeup? Fuck yes. And the fact that my eyes won't stop watering long enough for me to actually take a look at the look really pisses me off. See, I do really like this look now that I'm able to actually take a look at it, but I mean, it's really nothing special. I don't know. Some of these shadows did work really easily, but some of them didn't, and I'm still not even sure that it's worth what I paid for it. And of course, I could never recommend a fake because we really don't know what's in it, and you should always support the original artist, and I think that's kind of the case here. Like, the fake was able to produce a look, but it really wasn't that good of a look. Like, I would much rather have the real one. So once again, final verdict, do I call bullshit on this palette? No, not bullshit. Maybe like pony shits, just lil shits, because it did kind of work, but 
not that well. But there you go. Don't forget my latest single, One Last Night, is available everywhere in line that music is sold. Thank you so much to everyone who's supporting it. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this video and what you'd like to see on future Fake Ass episodes. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter at OfficialNady, and you can follow me online at ThePopLux.com. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and I will see you again soon. Bye. Bye.